Hey guys, what's up? This is Nickel from Top Motions and welcome to this brand new tutorial. Today, we're gonna create this cool time displacement effect into After Effects and it's pretty simple and pretty sleek effect. You can see right here, it creates this type of cool look right over here. Now, you can also use this effect for creating some cool logo reveals which I have made. I'll show you an example right over here. You can see it looks pretty good, you know. And you can basically use this effect for creating some cool motion graphic stuff or also use as for creating titles for your videos or your motion graphics videos. So let's just get started. So create a new comp 1920 into 1080. Okay. I'll create a title. I'll just name this text. Alright. Just center it up. And I'm gonna add some keyframes right over here. Hit P to bring down the position properties. Hit on the stopwatch. Go about all the way to the starting of the frame. And I'm gonna drag the text all the way out of the frame. Now hold shift to be accurate while you drag the text so that it moves you know accurately and I'm gonna select the keyframes and I'm gonna come over to the script E's and V's which you know give some motion to our animation so that it doesn't look pretty lame you know now it's a pretty awesome script if you are a motion graphic you know artist or and you do animations a lot you should definitely have the script it's pretty awesome and it's actually free so yeah it's pretty awesome actually yeah so let's just create a new shape layer and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some rectangles just like that and cover our whole text I'll show you an example right over here so if you can see I've created a bunch of rectangles from the shape layers and we're gonna be using this as a track mat to create the time displacement effect so we're gonna use the color between white and black so we're gonna use all the shades so I'll just give it like gray and make just a bunch of you know rectangles or squares or whatever you can say just like that And make sure that the text is fully covered up with the bars or with the rectangles you can see and just drop this behind our text then I'm gonna select the text and pre-compose it I'll just name it text pretty quick and then I'm gonna add an effect called time displacement there we go on the text now you can see we started to get this effect but this is not what we want actually so I'm gonna select and the shape layers which we have created so now we start to get this cool effect right over here now I just hide the shape layers so you can see looks pretty good now you can see it's not all the way getting out of the frame so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the time resolution FPS to 30 frames and just stretch this right out of the frame there we go oops it's not working yet so what we can actually do is we can just move our timeline or oh yeah timeline actually a little forward and go to time enable time remapping and there we go now we should get that effect you can see it looks pretty cool if you're still not happy you can you know stretch it up a little bit like just go over here and just stretch this up a little yep now we get this cool effect um, to take it more further what you can do is you can just duplicate these layers Control V Control V and I'm gonna select the bottom layers and just displace it just a few frames I'm gonna select this change the color to let's see make it a yellow maybe and make the third layer as a orangish and then if you can go right here and you can see we create this cool glitchy type displacement effect and it looks pretty cool you see right over here 
one more thing you can do is you can create a new background just name it bg and go to the text select all the text and add an effect called drop shadow there we go make distance to maybe 7 and softness to maybe 10 maybe it should work perfect and yep it looks good yep now it looks uh, pretty much better than before now one more thing and the most important thing you can do with this is go to the text and add some motion blur enable the motion blur just like clicking it right over here and then you can see it gives some motion blur to our text and it looks pretty awesome you can see right there I just love this effect you know it's so smooth you know so I hope this have helped you and I hope you like my tutorial and thanks for watching guys